Dark Matter News. I'm Leo Ashcraft. Ripped from the pages of a sci-fi novel, physicists have grafted a wormhole that tunnels a magnetic field through space. Jordi Pratt Camps, a doctoral candidate in physics at the Autonomous University of Barcelona in Spain, says his device can transmit the magnetic field from one point in space to another point through a path that is magnetically invisible. From a magnetic point of view, this device acts like a wormhole, as if the magnetic field was transferred through an extra special dimension. The idea of a wormhole comes from Albert Einstein's theories. In 1935, Einstein and colleague Nathan Rosen realized that the general theory of relativity allowed for the existence of bridges that could link two different points in space-time. Theoretically, these Einstein-Rosen bridges, or wormholes, could allow something to tunnel instantly between great distances. Unfortunately, the tunnels are so small in this theory, you wouldn't be able to fit a space traveler. So far, no one has found evidence that space-time wormholes actually exist. The new wormhole isn't a space-time wormhole per se, but it is instead a realization of a futuristic invisibility cloak. This type of wormhole would hide electromagnetic waves from view from the outside. The trouble was, to make the method work for light required materials that are extremely impractical and difficult to work with. Dark Matter News Alongside Night, the movie to see this summer. This is a prophetic tale written three decades ago. It stars Kevin Sorbo, TV's Hercules and star of the hit movie God's Not Dead. In a collapsing near future, America High School senior Elliot Freeland searches for his missing father and family. But this puts him in between the grips of an out-of-control government and a revolutionary anarchist underground. This movie is packed with action, twists and turns, and an eye-opening message of hope. If you see only one movie this summer, make it Alongside Night. The three-disc Blu-ray DVD combo pack of Alongside Night is on sale for $16.95, including shipping and handling. You can buy it online right now at area51movies.com or after 9.30 a.m. Eastern, phone 800-527-2375. Again, buy online now at area51movies.com or after 9.30 a.m. Eastern at 800-527-2375. It doesn't make compass needles spin wildly or have anything to do with the lost city of Atlantis, but scientists have discovered a truly unearthly force that they suspect is messing with electrical grids near the equator. It's called the Equatorial Electrojet, a seemingly innocuous current of electrons and ions 60 miles above the Earth in the Earth's ionosphere. New research shows that when even a mild shock wave in the solar wind hits the Earth, it can suddenly amp up the equatorial electrojet and create localized magnetic storms. Smaller versions of the large geomagnetic storms that have knocked out power grids and charged up and damaged long pipelines under the aurora-lit skies of higher latitudes. Scientists do not know precisely how the equatorial electrojet has affected grids in equatorial regions because they have not yet worked with the power companies there. Antti Polkinen, a research astrophysicist at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center, who also studies the equatorial electrojet, says that we're trying to make connections to African countries. It's still largely to be explored. The matter might take on an added importance if proposals for supergrids ever take off. The proposed European supergrid would connect Europe to North Africa, which is more susceptible to the equatorial electrojet. Well, you probably heard of all the lice and the mutant lice that has been going around and that's resistant to the current drugs that we have to treat it. New research is showing that these bugs are getting harder to kill. Samples from 30 states, including Texas, found a gene mutation in lice that turns into a superbug and resistance to over-the-counter chemicals. If that's not bad enough, there's also a new way adults and teens are getting it. Selfies. Lice used to be a childhood problem, eventually outgrown, like when youngsters bumped their heads as they played together in tight quarters. Now, as adults and teenagers almost constantly put their heads together while taking selfies. They're unknowingly giving lice a new host on which to feed. Lauren Hickman, who works at Hair Fairies in Dallas, Texas, which specializes in lice removal, says it's impossible to pinpoint exactly where someone gets lice, but she's seen an increase in the number of teens with lice who don't have siblings. She surmises that they're holding the phone up, putting their head close to their friend, and she says it only takes a second. Lice crawl from one strand of hair to another. They travel and spread like wildfire. It's not entirely surprising that over the years, over-the-counter medication may not be as effective as it once was. I'm Leo Ashcraft for Dark Matter News.